Well, good morning and happy new year to you. Hope you had a great new year. As we begin our Monday meditations, uh, I want to challenge you in this year as we post our Monday meditations. Uh, feel free to comment uh, below whether you're watching these on our Facebook page or our YouTube uh, channel, or if you're a student or one of those individuals that follows our student Instagram, please comment and interact. Just let us know that these are encouraging to you and helpful to you, and that would be a real blessing uh, to me as we try and make uh, these Monday meditations as edifying and helpful to you as possible as you begin your week. So that's our goal with these, just to give you the beginning of the week, a time to reflect upon scripture for a few minutes to get your mindset and your heart in the right place uh, for the week. So uh, we're going to be reading through the book of Ephesians for the first few months of uh, 2023. We're going to work through the entire uh, book of Ephesians and uh, we'll look forward to that spending time with you uh, each Monday, Lord willing, uh, in a few verses in Ephesians. And so we're starting this morning by reading Ephesians chapter 1, and I'm going to read verses 1 through 10 of Ephesians chapter 1. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, by the will of God, to the saints who are in Ephesus and are faithful in Christ Jesus, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places even as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before him. In love he predestined us for adoption as sons through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of his will, to the praise of his glorious grace, with which he has blessed us in the beloved. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of of our trespasses according to the riches of his grace, which he lavished upon us in all wisdom and insight, making known to us the mystery of his will according to his purpose, which he set forth in Christ as a plan for the fullness of time to unite all things in him, things in heaven and things on earth. That is a power packed passage of scripture. But the thing I want you to think about this week is all that we have in Christ. That's Paul's point here in Ephesians chapter 1, these first uh, 10 verses or so, as to get the Ephesians and us to recognize all of the blessings that we have are not because of anything good about us, but because of Christ. As it says there in verse number 3, he has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing. All that we need to follow the Lord, to live a life pleasing to God is found in Christ. And so this week, lean into that, knowing that you've been given everything you need to live a life pleasing to the Lord in Christ. I hope you know Christ. I hope you're in Christ. If you're not, maybe right now you want to put your faith in Christ. Repent of your sins, trusting in Christ. Jesus, as your Savior and Lord, who died on the cross, was buried and rose from the dead. And if you have done that, then you are in Christ and you have been blessed with every spiritual blessing. Rest in that. Rejoice in that. This week, God bless.